Today's video is about me talking today. <laughs> I'm first gonna talk about what kind of videos and tutorials I have planned for you and then I'll show some fabrics and ask for some I have plans and for some I don't and then you can leave your requests at the end of this video when I tell you what kind of videos I have planned and you can tell me what you'd like to see. So it's a talking video this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by saying what kind of videos I have planned and before I go into tutorials I will make another where to buy affordable items and that will be for bags and accessories and so far I have done dresses and skirts, blouses and shoes I think and I'm gonna do bags and accessories so is there anything else that you'd like to see a video of where to buy I'm contemplating on making one on wigs, but because I haven't ordered any of the more expensive, like Gothic Lolita wigs or Lock Shop, I don't know if I have enough information <laughs> to share, but I will do that probably in some point in the future. Or if you just want the cheapo version of mostly eBay and Taobao, you can request for that as well. I don't know what kind of videos you'd like to see. And again, still outside of tutorials, I will make a video on how to navigate lace market. It's been heavily requested because almost all of my dress unboxings have been Hey, I bought this second hat from Lacemark! And people are like, what is Lacemark? So I'm gonna do a video of... I don't say... I don't want to say screenshotting. Oh. I'll use like fraps to do it and then explain like different categories and how you pay, how to look for items, how to sell items. I haven't sold anything on it yet but I know basically how it works because friends of mine have and I've bought several items now so I can comment on that as well. So I will make an information tutorial -y video about Lacemark as well as Lolita and eBay because I mentioned in my last video when I bought a blouse from eBay I mentioned that I don't usually buy Lolita from eBay and that is kinda true and kinda not because I do buy small things from eBay like not dresses but you know smaller items so I got a few messages like how do you know it's gonna be a good item and how not and just Lolita and eBay in general because it it can be a good place and it can be a very bad place to buy Lolita items so I'm gonna talk a bit about that and then a room tour because I promised it in my 150 subscribers and now I have 1500 which is an odd thing to say because in Finnish we say a thousand and five hundred, so fifteen hundred sounds odd, but I promised it a while ago <laughs> and I will do it someday. It is happening. Ah, and people have been asking about videos where I talk more about myself, so I thought I'd combine the two and when I do my room tour I'll talk about my things and why they are important to me and so on. And on to tutorials. First I'll how to kind of decorate or alter or lollify. I will show you how to add details to blouses and how to alter them to fit them into Lolita. But I will not be making a blo fitted blouse tutorial from scratch because it is a lot of patterning and I just... I don't do it. <laughs> it's so much trouble and I hate making buttonholes and you have to make many and... I won't be showing that unfortunately but I will show different ways how to make a vintage or off-brand blouse fit into Lolita and I will also show you how to make a cut sew and I'll show you how to add 
color to cut sh katsu so that it's a lolly katsu and stuff like that. So blouse tutorials will be coming but not from scratch. At least not the very fitted like princess cat kind of blouse because I don't do them because it's it takes a lot of fabric and time and I just I buy them. <laughs> that that's my easy way out. And for cardigans, I have, I can't show it to you because it's not at hand, but I have a cardigan that I have purchased lace and decorations to, and I will show you how to lollify it as soon as I find the right size buttons, because I want to change the buttons and I haven't found them yet. <laughs> I'll have to snoop around fabric shops and possibly internet to find the proper size buttons. And as for from scratch tutorials, uh, suspenders and waist ties have been requested and I always take waist ties off <laughs> if they are with a button, but I will show you how to make them, maybe from a skirt fabric if I have excess and I'll show you how to make them detachable and I'll show you how to sew them into the waistband so that you can have them fixed on your dress or skirt. So I will show waist ties as well as suspenders because they are both very easy to make. So I will make tutorials on those either separately from random fabric that I have or I'll show you how to add them with extra fabric for from your project. Depends. A tiered A-line skirt I actually have in pieces in my table, it is on progress. <laughs> and so I will show that, so it will be A-lined and I will make four tiers to it because I found lace. So it will be also a lace covered skirt. And I will also show you how to make... <sighs> I was unprepared. This kind of lace overlay skirt, this is a lace curtain that I bought that I put over purple fabric because I have a purple blouse of this exact color and this looks really awesome with that. But I can't show you the tutorial of this skirt because I have already made it, but I will do a similar one with something prettier than full shearing, but I will make a similar one as soon as I find proper like lace fabric or lace curtain as I have here. So that will also be coming. And a high-waisted A-line skirt from kind of triangle pieces, I will be making that as soon as I find the fabric for it. I have done Two, two of that kind of skirt. So it's it's quite easy to make. It takes some patterning. And do you want me to make it from four panels or from six panels? I thought that I could make a simple one from four panels and then show you how to make one with six panels and I'll put like like silk ribbons inside it so that you can gather it up or have it long. That could be kind of like aristocrat lolita thing so that when it's long it's an aristocrat skirt and when you gather it up so that it's really nice and poofy and droopy it would be a gothic skirt. Gothic lolita skirt. Which one or both are you interested in? I will make them. And a skirt with partial shearing because I have shown you skirts with no shearing and skirts with full shearing. So I will show you how to make a skirt with shearing in the back, either the whole way so that it's half sheared or just a little bit. So I'll show you that one. And GSK's dresses with actual bodices and not an underbust one. I will make two different kind of busts. What Examples, hold on. <laughs> One that is kind of like this, that you have boob ruffles with the lack of a better word 
and then a waist piece and either with full shearing or partial shearing it's kind of like this I will make it a bit different but kind of like this I don't know if you can see it that well and a bit more this kind of bodice with an even top but it will have side seams going all the way from the top to the bottom and it will be a bit more fitted but probably with at least some shearing but what I will not do is a princess seam JSK or bodice because they take a lot of patterning and I I tried to explain it in my head like how I would explain it in a video and it was long and very confusing and at least not yet I haven't found a way to coherently describe how to do it because it takes a bit more patterning but I can if you're interested I can link different tutorials from the interwebs mostly YouTube if you are interested in a princess scene and an, a last tutorial that I will not do is a petticoat because if I would make a petticoat for myself it would be the 60 centimeter long one that is super poofy because I like a lot of poof this is a bit small for me usually I have multiple petticoats so if I would make one I would make a super poofy one and it takes a lot of fabric and a lot of patience to make and I just again don't find it cost efficient so I buy my petticoats but if you're interested in tutorials I can link those for you as well but I will not to recap I will not do a fitted blouse from scratch a petticoat or a princess seam JSK at least not for now and another thing that will be a bit less of is unboxings and reviews because I am currently saving money because in two months time ish there will be a book fair in my city and I spend more money on books than on Lolita so I'm saving <laughs> because they have a lot of brand new books and brand new like sellers and then there's the second hand side where I can find rare things and Finnish fantasy which is out of print every goddamn book that I want <laughs> my my bookshelf is about 50-50 English and Finnish at the moment but I'm saving money for that one because I will spend hundreds of euros there so I won't be at least not big items maybe some blouses or cheap shoes but I will do a bit more of these talky thingy videos and then tutorials for the next few months and what tutorials I found this kind of space stars moon fabric that I really love it's quite thin but I will line it so it will be okay and this will be the partially sheared skirt because I really like this fabric and I don't want to put a zipper into it but I also don't want to have to cover it with a shirt or a belt so I'm gonna make this the half sheared skirt it's a very dark navy so I can pair it with blue or white or navy and I want more navy or blue and white in my closet so this was perfect I got this at a local store it was I think 7 or 6 euro per meter and it's a quite thin cotton blend I got 2 meters or 1.5 meter and this beauty that I have had in my closet or not closet sewing table at I think I bought this in March like six months ago and I still haven't done it but this will be 
uh, JSK with the seams from all the way to the top to the bottom instead of the seam like this. And this is very thick fabric and I have big plans for this. I'm still looking for like small golden lace to match this. I found very big showy golden laces but I want I want just a teeny tiny one so that I don't make it too sweet but this will be a JSK. As for what I don't have plans for is this. This is very stretchy, very flowy. I don't know if I can make a skirt out of this, but I just love it. I don't know if you can see, but it has a green violin and I want more green in my wardrobe, so I might make a skirt out of it. I can't make a dress because the bodies will just... Bleh. This is so stretchy. But let's see if I can make an unconventional materials challenge. Project Runway, the only that kind of show that I watch. Reality is the word that I'm looking for. Reality show that I watch, the only one. But this is very pretty, so I bought it. It was 10 euros for about 2 meters of it. So, ooh, I'll do something. And this I've had for a quite long time now. And I got this from a local store again. The green one was also from a local store and the brown chocolate one was from Etsy. I can link it if you want. But this I got at a sale from a local fabric store. I have four or five meters of this. I have a bunch. So why would you like to see me make something out of this? Because I've had it for about six months or a year and I haven't made anything from it because it's an odd color for me, so I don't know what I would pair it with, but I still want to make something, so what would you like to see me make out of this? It's a very bluish purple, it's like a very cold tone, but I like it, even though it has flowers and it's a bit too sweet or classic for me, but I really love the color, but I can't find anything in this matching color, so I haven't done anything with it. But if you have any ideas what you would like to see me make out of this, please tell me, I have no idea. And I need this out of my sewing table. Mwah. So that was it for this week's video. If you have any additional requests for like where to buy or just me talking or general advice or tutorials, either from scratch or how to lollify items, please leave them down below. And next week will be the A-line tiered skirt with the lace overlay because I've already started it. So I will probably make it <laughs> for next week. I'm filming this on Tuesday, so I have pretty much a week to make it, but I have a lot of work. But that was it for this week's video and I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye!